What's up? Welcome to a wonderful Saturday where I'm gonna play two games. We're gonna start with this one, which looks very dark and mysterious and gloomy and all that stuff. And then we're gonna play this one, which looks very colorful and very Kirby-esque. So, uh, so let's jump straight in. So I think this one's a point and click, but I don't know, it has a lot of missable achievements. So I am following a guide. <laughs> and Whipsy, oh, it's a rat like game. I actually didn't know that. Hmm. Strange. And uh, Whipsy has an achievement that's probably going to kill me, but we'll see. It's still not terribly long, but I can see it being a pain in the fucking ass. Right, let's. Film grain's fine. Dialogue sound. Oh, I see. Looks like I'm going to be uh, reading all the dialogue again. This will overwrite your potential. Any potentials? I don't have any. My humanity was for sale. And I sold it. That very moment sent me into decay. This is my story. And these are my regrets. Whoa, look at his giant head. Is that one of them? I just came here. Okay. Oh, it's the elevator. Excuse me. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. She's not here. Go away. Guess it's not this one. Anyone home? Uh, who's there? Mrs. Goodwin? No, no, she lives next door. Thank you and goodbye. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? No! Get lost! Okay. Huh. I could swear she lives somewhere around here. Yes, without a doubt. It's got to be one of these doors. It smells like blueberry pie. This must be the right apartment. Uh, I told you, she does not live here. Madam, I know it's you. Could you please let me in? Uh, I'm sorry, C come in please. Madam? I know. I'm so sorry I have to do this, madam. Can't you get me a little more time? I can pay the debt if you give me another week, please. Uh, I'm sorry. I hate doing this. But I must seize this property. But where would I go? That sound is not pleasant. While wearing headphones. <laughs> this is all I have. I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wrong voice. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be crying like this. There are just so many memories here. I understand, madam. Oh, where are my manners? Would you like to have a cup of tea? I'd rather have a cup of coffee if possible. Oh, of course. Give me a second, young man. Might as well look around while waiting. It's a rocking chair. Every granny has one. I mean, he's not wrong. I can't leave now, even if I wanted. It's a wedding photo of Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin. Though I believe she's a widow now. Oh man, I shouldn't be doing this. I've just noticed my little hat. Whoa, what is going on? Okay. She's back. I'm sorry, dear. I'm afraid I've run out of coffee. Can I get you something else instead? No, thank you, madam. Listen, you will have to move out by the end of the month. I'm very, truly sorry, madam. Well, I guess I have only myself to blame. Yes, well, I need to get going, madam. Take care. Wait a second, young man. Maybe if we just... Oh, is she coming on to me? What's going to happen? Is she going to find out some alternative payment? 
Never mind, dear. Pardon? I really must go now. Take care. Bye bye. Ah. Mm. <sighs> bye bye, dear. Oh, Chibi. The first to shrink. That sounds really sinister. Take over the property. Yeah. Why is she crying? What did you do to this poor She's woman? getting evicted. Oh, is that your job? Yeah. That's a rough job. Go back and rub it in. I better leave her be now. I think you should too. Ah! There's the box. Oh. 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 Nothing happened. Power seems to be on though. Weird. I just want to get away from here. <laughs> the soundtrack is very spooky. It's very what? It's spooky. Like every now and again it just goes. <laughs> it's like, uh, This is probably a very bad idea. Apartment 213, living room. Distraint does not auto save your progress. To save your progress, be sure to find and visit safe spots. Okay, game saved, whatever that means. Doesn't know he's in the game. <laughs> It's locked. I need a key. Oh my god, this guy has no head. Uh. <laughs> I'll just uh, stroll past him. He has nothing to say about that. There we go. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, fair. There's a note. What comes around goes around. Fuck it. Give head, get headed. <laughs> I'd turn it off if there was a power button. Oh shit, it's freezing in here. I like my little hat that bubbles around on my head. Look. Bubbles? <laughs> oh, is that a little Jewish hat? Looks like it, but... Um, I've forgotten. No, the yamak yamaka? Yama, yama. I don't know. Yeah, I think you might be close. If not. There's something in the bathtub. Let's see. Whew, it's cold. There. Oh, I found an ice cube. This might come in handy. When you have the item active, Price will attempt to use the item whenever interacting. Try and use the ice cube with the bathtub. Go and search and examine all this. Surround and open your inventory and select an empty item slot. Now try searching the bathtub again. I don't need another ice cube. Okay. What the hell was that? I hope he's talking about the music. It's an old oven. I wonder if there's something inside this ice cube. I'll stick it into the oven. And now we wait. Alright, let's see. I knew it! You found a key. Guess we're going back to the other door. Uh, where'd he go? He can't have got far, he has no head. Also, there's blood on this door. Oh no. I unlocked the door. That sound again. It's empty. The window is boarded. 
The Shining, Frankenstein, Dracula. There are a lot of classic horror books. It's empty. Stock markets, economy trading. There are a lot of books about money. It's empty. There is something here. Finders keepers, you found a horror book. The bookcase is full of horror books. I'll place this book here. Ah, what's that? Another book popped down. You found the finance book. I think I know where to put this. Oh shit. What's going on? All these books are about money. This book will fit here perfectly. Let's see. Done. Ooh. Hello, McDade, Bruton and Moore. Son, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. McDade, Bruton and Moore. Are a lot louder than me. We already heard you kick that expired fart out. Job well done, son. You passed your first trial. Happy to hear that, sirs. Although, Mrs. Goodwin seemed like a nice, a very nice old... Nonsense! 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 There's no justice, or injustice, in the law. You did the right thing, son. Soon you will be one of us. One of us. One of us! McDade, Bruton, Moore, and Price. I like the sound of it. Thank you, sirs. Are you ready to make some serious money? Money! Money. I guess I am. You have only two more names to take care of. Seize their properties in the name of the law. In the name of the law. In the name of the law. And you shall be granted a partnership. I will. That's the spirit, son. Off you go now. This game got very weird all of a sudden. Weirder, I should say. I felt both joy and sorrow. Soon I would get my partnership, but at the price of my humanity. Would it be worth it? I may as well save again. Huh, how did it get here? There's another note. There's an elephant in the room. I know that saying. Oh my. Guilt, guilt, indignity, indignity, money, shame, run! Ah, oh, sorry, I got carried away. That's not quite what happened. When I saw the elephant, I ran. I ran like there was no tomorrow. He's gaining on me! Apparently I died <laughs> that last time. Price is home. 
bedroom. Uh, is it morning already? What a day that was. I still feel horrible at Mrs. Goodwin. Oh well, I need some coffee to wake up. Let's just save it again so I don't have to run away from the elephant. Okay, I need some water for the coffee. I'll use this coffee pot to get the water. Hmm, really? <laughs> hmm, I really need my caffeine. Nobody needs to know. No, I still have a little dignity left. <laughs> oh, let's see. I emptied it yesterday, no water here. The roof is leaking. I'm happy it isn't raining today. Lousy apartment. That wouldn't work. Where's the water? Not much and longer I'll get to move out of this dump. That doesn't make sense. I don't think the word and is supposed to be in there. Not much longer. Oh, they're all the way around and I'll get to move out of this dump. Is this the old ladies? Maybe I'll get some water here. Ah, I want coffee! And it started raining, are you kidding me? One of these mornings, I swear you... Not sure how hygienic this is, but every man deserves a cup of coffee. There, I have some water now. Coffee, please. Finally, I'll put the water here. Okay, I'll watch them tell you while the coffee is brewing. Do people use telly outside of this country? <laughs> oh yeah, it's thundering. I shouldn't risk it. What was that? I think it came from the bathroom. There's nothing here. Must be my imagination. The coffee should be ready by now. I have a superb bladder. I can hold it in for a day or two. Jesus Christ. Guess we're not... Go. Hello. <laughs> You're right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear. It's our little boy. I can see that, hun. Hey, son, you don't mind if we took some coffee, do you? Although it tastes a little funny. No, no, not at all. Are you all right, dear? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Of course we are dead. What a silly thing to say. But even though we are already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I suppose not. And that's exactly why we are here. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We are worried about you, me and your father. Are you getting greedy, son? It is not too late to make a change. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done, but look, at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son. But at the expense of other people? Think about it, son. You are better than that. I don't know. I've worked hard for this. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? 
Hey, that's what I said. What the hell is going on? The coffee is gone. Oh. Hold it together. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. Yes, it must be. Okay, I better get dressed. It was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would be lying to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in the forest as a hermit. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate... Expro... Expropriate... Abbott. Yeah, expropriate is right, I think. His property. I don't know. Phonics. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. They built a highway there. I visited him so I could seize his property. No trespassers. Okay. Go and walk to the right until we see something. His cabin should be here somewhere. Save it because we haven't saved in a while. Ah, there it is. This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. It's locked. It's a firewood stack. It's locked. Hello, sir. Hello. You must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name's Price. Nice to make your acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you're here. Threats? No, no, how about reasoning? You see, Mr. Taylor, the city wants to build a highway here. It would bring lots of new people and tourism to the city. And a lot of money too, or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. Where's your compassion? This is my home. Sir, it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepared. And don't forget we are offering you a very fair compensation. And if you refu refuse, <laughs> we will have to expropriate your property. I guess I have no options but to bend over. There, you got me. I hope you're happy. I'm sorry, sir. Mm. Sorry, kid. I know you're just doing your work. Sir, if there's anything I could do... There is something. It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Here, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, and while you're at it, could you light a fire in the fireplace? Of course. Thank you, sir. It's a firewood stack. I'll take some firewood here. All right, there's an achievement that you can miss here, so I have to walk all the way back to the left. Use it to, it's time to have a drink quick. And we made it. You walked all the way back here to try that? Please, I have short legs. Now I have to walk all the way back with his little stumps. They're so far apart. He's got the ultimate thigh gap. Uh, fuck it, yeah, so there we go. Alright, make the key. 
I unlocked the door. I don't know why I read that one. I never need to. <laughs> I'll put the firewood here. There's something matches perfect. Here it goes. Damn it. The firewood is moist. I need something that nugs easily. Paper, perhaps. It's a trash can full of paper. I don't think he needs these. I can use the paper I found earlier for kindling. should do. Ha! Look what I've created. I have made fire! Ah, I see you made fire. Good. Thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yes, there's no electricity. But back to the topic. See, my dog has gone missing. And you want me to find him? Her? Huh? Her. Huh. It was quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here when I went to bed last night, and as far as I'm aware, of, she can't open doors. And yet she has gone to the break of dawn. She was gone at the break of dawn. Huh, then she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. If you find her, I'll happily sign any papers you may have. You got yourself a deal, sir. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid. Okay, this is this dog bed smells like piss and soap. Might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. I noticed that the dog bed smells funny. Yeah, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyways, we spent a good hour scrubbing that stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. That explains the smell. I'm sure this helps. I'll look into it. kitchen dog food and water bowls nothing interesting here I guess this is where he washed his dog it still reeks anyway let me think if the dog bed already stinks that bad I wonder what the dog will smell like I think I can follow her scent. Oh, I'm a wolverine. A wolverine? I'm a wolf now. That's where I was going with that. Uh, there goes the guy with no head walking past. Ha! Huh. There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with a combination lock. I can't follow her. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through here. In there. Hmm. That would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door. But I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh, yes. Uh, what was it? Uh, 
It's so long, you see. Hmm. I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination. But I'm no fool, so I have a backup. That's great. Where can I find it? See, I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the world word you need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey, kid. Thanks for going through all the trouble. Don't worry about it. I mean, I'm just doing my job. This must be the puzzle he meant. Oh. Tree. Oh, I see. From the... C5. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's see. Five, ah, oh, can't go down. Okay. Seven, eight. Got it. It's an old compressor. Let's see if there's still some juice in it. Nothing happened. Shed. Hammer, saw, wrench, nails. Huh, what's that? No doubt this gasoline can come in handy. There's a hole in the floor, in the wall and the floor. The dog has gone through here, no doubt about it. Back in the forest, the old spooky forest. I'm worried that guy with like the shotgun wound for a head is gonna pop out. Scared the shit out of me at some point. blood here. Shit. I hope this isn't her blood. Oh, my little legs. Whoa. Come girl. Sniff this sweet gasoline. No? I need to gain her trust somehow. That is somewhat terrifying though. Here girl. I don't have the guts to get any closer. I have to go all the way back now. Give me my little stumps. How could I be blessed with a head this big and legs so small at the same time? I'm a freak of nature, but I've got a nice hat and a lovely tie. I'll fill the compressor with this gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. power is on now. Let's see. Oh my lord. Whoa. Shit. There's something inside. 
Whew. It's a glove. Got scared for a moment. Gotta walk on the little stumps all the way back to the doggy. I wonder why there's such long scenery walks <laughs> between stuff. Here, girl. Oh, wow, we actually said here, girl, spelled the glove as well. That's it, come here. Who's a good girl? Woof. Your master is worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. Can I inspect the fox? No, I can't move any closer. <gasps> no, not the elephant again. Oh, whew. I think it's the fox's blood. You found her. Thanks, kid. I signed the papers. You can find them inside. I will leave immediately. Feels easier that way. Farewell, sir. Uh, the bridge is out that way. There was a, an elephant incident. Okay, I better get those papers. these guys again son good to see you good to see you good to see you mcdade bruton and more another job well done well done well done for a moment i thought you were going soft 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 doing him a favor by finding his lousy mutt he seemed like a very nonsense 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 you should have kicked just you should have just kicked his worthless ass. Worthless ass. Worthless ass. Next time you must remain strict. Strict, strict. I understand. Do you now? You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, sirs. That's the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity, sirs. That reminds me, something of great importance. Importance, importance. What's that? We have yet to see you dance, son. Uh-oh. Now dance, son. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, look at me sway my hips. Yeah, you like that? Yes, that's our boy. Yeah! Now faster. Alright, I'll sway faster for you. I feel like these men are grooming me. Fucking Cobain is here. The washing machine. Mm. Jesus Christ. Who's that? That must be Mrs. Goodwin in a rocking chair. Guess we're going here. Mrs. Goodwin? Mrs. Goodwins? I'll just get out of here. <laughs> Actually looped around. I see. Oh, I'll loop up higher? Yeah. 
I fell down and couldn't get up. <laughs> Help! I've fallen and can't get up. Yes? Is this Mr. Price speaking? Yeah? My name is Stewards. I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. What is this all about? It's Mrs. Goodwin. I know you're not relative. <laughs> Just say related. But I'm afraid she has no one else. She asked me to call you. See, she had a stroke yesterday. Oh, how is she doing? Well, considering the seriousness of the stroke, she's fine. But she's in very bad spirits. And when the mind fall fails, the body will follow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Oh, doing lots of voices makes me yawn uncontrollably. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I understand, but she asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you consider visiting her here in our care? I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Yes, I will happily do it. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will bring the message to her. I'm sure she will be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewards. Where the weather has been able to make up his mind in the last few days as well. I've been quite sneezy, so I'm going to keep sniffing a bit. I'm sorry in advance. Huh. What a nightmare. Oh, shit. I wonder how Mrs. Goodwin is doing. Maybe I should visit her for my own sake. Or oh, sucker. That's step one saving. Ah. My new coffee maker is the Deluxe 2000 X748G3. One press of a button is enough. No more fetching water from the weirdest of places. Luxury, one could call it... Oh, wait. Luxury, one could call it. Huh, who might that be? Hello, this is Price speaking. Mr. Price? This is Stuart speaking. I'm calling from our nursing home on behalf of Mrs. Goodwin. Is... is everything okay? She had a stroke, but she's doing relatively fine. Let me guess, she asked me to visit her? Impressive, Mr. Price. Indeed. It would mean the world to her. Could you please consider doing so? Yes, of course I'll come see her. Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll let her know. Thank you for calling me. Oh god, these two again. My dreams of guilt are coming true. <laughs> you are right, dear. I will never forget that day. Oh, look, dear, it's our little boy. I can see that, hun. Hey, son, do you mind that we took some co- Oh, you don't mind that we took some coffee, do you? This coffee tastes great this time. Not at all. Since you are here, I guess you have something important to tell me. That is correct, son. It seems you are still pursuing the riches. At the expense of, of the others. What your father is trying to tell you is that you are losing yourself in the process. I think I know what you mean, but I can't quit now. I'm so close to success. How about Mrs. Goodwin? We heard she's not doing too good. Don't you think she would rather be at her home? I know. I feel horrible for her. Maybe you wouldn't under maybe you would understand if you saw the consequences of your actions. You should go and see Mrs. Goodwin is doing more. Oh, how? I missed the word how. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. No, son, we do. We are only thinking about what is best for you. Sorry, I know that. See, you can be very compassionate, honey. Oh, no. 
Is anyone home? I'm looking for Mr. Price. Oh man, I'm losing my mind. Okay, focus. Drink the coffee and suit up. I need to get my head straight. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Damn good coffee. Okay, I'll get dressed and I'm off. Oh, wrong way. All right, I'll pay Mrs. Goodwin a visit. I hope she's okay. I traveled to meet Mrs. Goodwin. I hated myself, but maybe if I confront her, maybe I can find peace of mind. Deception instead of reception. Hello? Anyone there? I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Speaking of service. Snow. No wonder these folks are so absent. <clears throat> Can I get past, please? No point, he's sleeping like a rock. Basement. Oh, spooky boy. I thought I heard something. Hey kid, could you do an old man a favor? Sorry, who are you? Janitor Carpenter at your service. My name's Price. Nice to meet you. And sure, what do you need? I was in the middle of something, but then the electricity went off. I'm guessing the circuit breaker tripped. There's a fuse box near the kitchen. Could you check the fuses over there? I guess I'm not in a hurry, so why not? Thanks, kid. I'll let you borrow my key. Tell no one. All right, I'll be right back. Potatoes, 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 potatoes! Uh, I refuse! I shall not cook anything, no! Potatoes? My skills are going to waste, I refuse! I need better ingredients. It would be nice to have some meat every now and then. Go away, get lost! I don't know what voice he had, it was an odd one. His eyes are twitching. I unlocked the door. This must be the fuse box. Let's see. Okay, well, it's definitely that one. That one. That one, that one. I was just guessing, so that works. And that one. Got it. The electricity should be back on. Um, I'm glad that door's barred up. Keep that in there safely. Hello? Anyone there? In the basement. Um. Hey, hey! Ah, thanks, kid. Electricity is back on. What the hell are you doing? I'm disposing of this corpse. Corpse? Who is that? Just some oldster. He died a few days back. It's cheaper this way. 
Oh, I feel sick. What's that? Oh, I'm gonna throw up at any moment now. Piles of guts, body fluids, and blood. Isn't blood a body fluid? This will have to do. I'm getting fucking showered in it. to come across this fine piece of beef do you think it could be suitable for your purposes I mean I'm lying let's take a look yes oh brilliant meats back on the menu boys oh he's an orc thank you young master I'll start cooking right away my pleasure Gotta just move away and then come back. Ooh, still grinding up that body. Go back. See if we can get our food. Nope. Breaker room. How long do I have to waste? I don't like using public toilets and you should wash your hands. All these old people you're surrounded by. Who knows where you've been? the hell is this program? I better just leave it. So I need this guy to finish cooking so I can have his food. There's no way I can get past that. Good day, madam. I'll get going now. How are you? Okay, take care. Hey, where are you going? Meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Is that the guy from the basement? Yeah, he's not here no more. Alright, maybe the food's done now. Let's save again. Sir, I've come for the meats. I have prepared a beautiful dish. Finally, these people will get the food they deserve. Speaking of that, I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Can I take the food to her? <laughs> sure, kid, take this dish to her. Thank you, Chef. You, woman. I'll creepy as fuck.
Room service? Well, sort of. Do you bring food? I'm hungry. Yes. Can I come in, please? Please do. You're not Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, I'm afraid you've got the wrong room, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Here's the food. Thank you, dear. Well, I'll get going. It's been a long time since anyone came to see me. I'm sorry. I think it was two months ago. My grandchild came to see me. I really need... But I haven't heard from him since. Though I believe he got married lately. That's nice to hear. With a girl! What was her name again? Was it Helen? I wouldn't know. No, I believe it was Helga. That's nice. But I'm of... Ah, oh, father got his ankle broken. I wonder if he's all right now. I'm sure he is. Well, take care now. It has been awfully windy lately. Fall is going to come early this year. Yeah, I'm sorry, madam. I really, really need to get going now. Oh, there I go, rambling on again. I understand you must be going now. Please take this for listening to my nonsense. Thank you, madam. I've got a cowbell. Sick. I wish you well. Oh. It's a wardrobe. This might come in handy. I've got a hanger. Look at what I've got. That's a really fancy hanger, dear. So much. Why would the people at like the end of the corridors that I need to talk to? They're all so far apart. How's it going? Wonderful. You wouldn't believe my frustration. Mm. Thanks for getting that beef to me. Sure. It was a beef. I think I could bend this hanger to act as an antenna. Ha, huh, it worked. I'm a genius. Ken Baddock is airing. Service, please. Finally. I know. Listen, there's a door behind the bars. I think I left my wallet there? So... Uh-huh. That's a yes, I take it? Yes. Perfect, I suppose. Oh man, I wonder how long she has been here. These people are treated like cattle. I don't think she needs the flower anymore. I'll take it to Mrs. Goodwin. Maybe if I'll leave the bell here. That did the trick.
Here's a beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Oh, sorry, I thought you were Mrs. Goodwin. Mrs. Goodwin? This is Price, can I come in? I'm here, come in please. I was nervous and afraid. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe she would blame me. I was concerned about her well-being. I felt guilty and ashamed. I brought you a flower. How are you, Mrs. Goodwin? Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you, dear. I'm delighted you came to see me. Of course, madam. I still feel horrible for taking over your home. I shouldn't have done that. Stop it, young man. You shouldn't blame yourself. Thank you, Mrs. Goodwin. That means a lot to me. But still, can I do something for you? Anything at all? No, I have no one. I just wanted to see a familiar face before I'm gone. Madam, you don't deserve this. I'm just spineless scallywag. But let me make this right. You could move to my place. I'll take care of you. It's not much, but anything beats this. Oh, you're such a polite young man. But I can't do that, dear. You have your own life and things to take care of. Me? I'm old. I won't be around for too long. Madam, don't say that. No, listen to me. Don't you blame yourself, young man. Besides, soon I will get to see my husband again. Madam, I will come to see you every week. You can always call me if you want to talk. Close up your window. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I was so close. One more name, one last push. But something, something had changed. Something inside me tried to make me stop. I ignored that something. I didn't stop. Mr. Jones was the last name on my list. Oh, it's boarded. I can't get through. Is there anyone? Huh. The door seems to be ajar. Don't mind if I do. I'll save it here. <gasps> Slots. Huh. It's an old slot machine. Doesn't seem to work. Huh, what the hell is this? Looks like a drug lab. And that green smoke? I shouldn't smell it. Screw it. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Wait, what? Okay. There's something weird about this painting. Maybe I need to look at it from another angle. Whoa. It's almost like a piece of the painting would be highlighted blue. I wonder if it comes off. Huh, look at that. Felt like I was meant to go through that door.
Alright, let's save it again. It's on painting, I believe. Oh, it's on now. I need a coin to play it. understand how I'm supposed to get back. I think I need to enter this room while under the influence. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. Nothing but dusty old books. Hello. Whoa, it's almost like a piece of this painting would be highlighted red. I wonder if it comes off. Huh, look at that. Positive this piece will fit here. Oh, it did. And positive this piece will fit here. And it did too. Try right, definitely save that because that's very confusing. Finally, I found you. Mm. You're here for the party? Oh, sorry. My name's Price. I work for the... Oh, yeah, you're here to take over my home. Well, I'm here to make sure everything goes smoothly, so to speak. I can't guarantee that. Why? I'm pretty fucking upset. <laughs> Again, why? See, I wanted to have an amazing farewell party. A night to remember. And why didn't you? That lousy band refused to play. I mean, we had an agreement, but they decided not to honor it. I see. But you look like a guy that knows his way around. Maybe you could convince them to play. Maybe I could, but why would I? Because I will trash this place for good if I don't get my party. We have insurance for that. Sure, but think about all that paperwork. Arm wrestling with an insurance company? Sounds sweet. Okay, you made your point. If I get the band to play here, you promise to behave? Of course. I'm a man of my word. Alright. So where can I find them? Luckily for you, they live next door. The door near the window in the hallway. I'll see what I can do. Hey man, why the sad face? We were supposed to party, man. I want to dance. Okay. I'm tripping balls, yo. This one, I think. This is Price. I'm looking for a local band. Is this the right address? Yeah, come in, please. Hey, I have a television just like this. Evening. Um, evening. I want you guys to play at a party. Interested? Absolutely. Just tell us when and where. The next door and now. Uh, oh, so he sent you? Yeah, he was pretty upset that you refused to play. Oh yeah? Good. We have a perfectly good reason, though. He agreed to pay us before the gig, but now he says he will pay half now and the other half later. Like he would. Everyone here knows that he will be evicted any day now. Ah, that's why I'm here for. I'm supposed to ensure everything goes peacefully. He's threatening to destroy this apartment unless he gets his party. That's mature. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't play either if I was you. He didn't actually strike me like a trustworthy guy. But could you consider playing? Unless he pays us in full? No. 
Fair enough. Let me think of something. I usually search trash cans, but it looks as if there's something interesting. Huh. A five dollar bill? I'm not a thief, but since it was in the trash can... Moving along... Where did this umbrella come from? All the money in the world wouldn't cheer him up. Isn't that our building across the street? Huh. That gave me an idea. Maybe I could promise the band some high quality elite gigs. I need to check with the bosses though. I think I should call them. And it just happens to be so that the number is right there. Yeah, it's like O space 7949 L B space 73 apostrophe 2. Yeah, good number. I'll remember that. Okay, I think I got it. I need to find a telephone. May I make a phone call? Wonderful! That would be four dollars, sir. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Recite the number and I shall dial it for you, sir. Here you go. Thank you, sir. I will dial the number for you now. Mr. McDade, Bruden and Moore's office. Miss McCone speaking. How can I be of your assistance? Hey, Jenny, this is Price calling. Could you please connect the call to one of the big guys? Of course, Mr. Price. One second. God, this place is just ringing. Soon! It's good to Oh, son, that said. It's good to talk to you. How goes the job? Hey, Bruton, how goes it? Listen, there's this local band. You think I could hire them? A band? Well, can they play a real music? <laughs> what kind of music is that? Real music, not some hipster shit. Any specific genre in your mind? Blues! If they can play blues, then hire them. All right, thank you, Mr. Bruton. Okay, I'm finished. Thank you, Mr. Telephone Man. Don't forget the change, sir. Oh, yeah, thanks. Wait. To get out of here, I need to be intoxicated. Damn. Ah, uh, come on, jackpot. Look at that! I won! A blues book? What kind of machine is this? Jackpot! Big pot! I have an offer for you. I'm working for this very classy company. We're having some awesome parties every now and then. We are definitely interested. So if you agree to play now, I will give your number to my bosses. But there's a small catch. They asked if you guys can play some blues. Blues, eh? Yes, I believe I've heard about the genre. Oh, you can't play blues? Maybe if we had some notes. Just don't forget the turnaround. Then you guys are in luck. I've come across this blues book. 
Do you want to give it a go? Hmm. Yes. I believe I got it. Swaying my little sexy hips. That was awesome. Okay, guys, let's get the party started, and I'll promise you some high quality gigs. so asleep. Whoa. The door is a coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> All the changes you asked for has been made. Thank you, Mr. Braden. See, I got myself a bunny to keep me company. Mrs. Chanel is her name. Well, I've become very attached to her, and I think she will outlive me. See, that rabbit's dynamite. I understand, Mrs. Goodwin. Animals can bring a great comfort to their owners. You're right, Mr. Braden. Don't worry, Mrs. Goodwin. The stipulation in your will shall ensure Mrs. Chanel goes to a good home. Should the need ever arise. That's the only thing I ask. It's fair. I'm sorry, time's up. That would be $500, Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, of course, Mr. Brayden. Sounds like she's getting fucking rinsed. Huh. What the hell was that? Sound. Oh lord, my parents are murderers. <laughs> You're right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh look, dear, it's our little boy. I can see that, hun. Mom? Dad? What is this? Oh, I hope we didn't wake you up, dear. You did. What the? We wanted to surprise you, me and your mother, by preparing you a breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. Think. This is not really happening. You are nothing but my subconscious mind. That is correct, son. We are a part of you. But what's the meaning of this? Can't see you, son. This is not the work for you. But you already know this, don't you? We thought we would make sure you would understand by feeding you the guilt your elephant. I'm sorry, son. I know it's a bit extreme. But we only... Stop it! Now! Oh. Oh, shit. I'm losing my mind. And it was supposed to be my day off. Might as well try and relax. I need coffee. Okay. The coffee is brewing. I really need to calm down now. I'm so worked up at the moment. It's not ready. Hmm. Ah, what's this? Oh yeah, I subscribed to the daily paper. This is good, just what I needed. I'll enjoy a cup of coffee while reading the headlines. The coffee should be ready by now. Newspaper and coffee sounds like a good combination, but only if you don't mix them. Yes, please. All right, I'll head to the table. Ha. 
It's chilly in here. Ah, warm coffee. Huh, interesting. They're going to increase taxes on food. What else? The construction on the new highway has started. I believe it crosses the old property of Mr. Taylor. I wonder how he's doing. What's this? A new species has been found. That's cool. I wonder what the next page hides. Oh, it's the page for the obituaries. Too many names and ages here. Nancy P. Goodwin. No. No, no, no. I lost it. The weight of the world came crashing down on me. It twisted my soul like nothing before. At that very moment, I made a decision. I would quit my job. But before that, I would have to visit her grave. Just keep walking. Look at this guy's Swede. Good evening. Mm, nice hole you've got there. Thanks. I need to get to the other side. Didn't you read the notice? We are closed, so to speak. Come back later. Can't I just... No. Hey, there's something fishy going on around that gate. Someone's trying to break in. I'm not falling for that. I get lost. Let me work. Got a robin blind. I'm here to visit Mrs. Goodwin's grave. Though the way is blocked. Ah, screw it. That guy is scary. I really shouldn't poke through his stuff. But I need to visit Mrs. Goodwin. Here goes nothing. Ah, this will come in handy. Found the cemetery key. A perfect match. I unlocked the gate. Though the key bent, it's now unusable. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, but wait a second, I know you. From the nursing home. What on earth are you doing here? Or doing in general. I'm here to visit my husband. But they closed the cemetery. Ha! They think that will stop me? Never! But madam, you can't go breaking into cemeteries like that. Would you calm down and give me the crowbar, please? No! I'm not going anywhere until I've seen my husband. Do I really have to tell the gravedigger what you're up to? Because I don't want to. That guy gives me the creeps. I, I suppose. Here, I'll just wait until it's dawn then. Thank you, madam. Uh, go look at the cemetery again. Walk all the way to the right and then cemetery to the right. That's good. Okay. Going all the way back. My little legs. My giant head. Such long distances. Look, 
I got this crowbar off from... Oh, I got this crowbar off from the intruder. That proves I'm not lying. Intruder? Not on my watch. Maybe I could pry the door open with this crowbar. Open now. It worked. All sorts of junk here. Ah, huh, what's that? I can't find the door. There it is. <laughs> I wonder if the plank is long enough. It is. <laughs> and there I was, standing in the rain. There was something in that moment, as if I would have felt her presence. It's hard to describe. I know you don't blame me for anything, but I'm sorry. From the little I got to know you, you deserved better. Your passing was a wake-up call for me. I've decided to quit. Wherever you may be, I hope you're okay. I'm sure you are. Oh, before I forget, I brought you something. It's not much, but... May it light your path in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Mrs. Goodwin. What up? I mustered up the courage. It would end now. I couldn't live like this, and so I went to see my bosses. I went to resign. It's a water machine. There's still some water in it. Hey Jenny, how goes it? I love you, Jenny. <laughs> Nice to see you, Mr. Price. Have you seen the big guys? No, I don't know where they are. Stop interrogating me. Calm down, Jenny. Sheesh. Sorry, sorry. Any messages for me? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, well, let me know if you find out where the bosses are. Sure thing, Mr. Price. Ah, it's open. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? A little salt for the flavor? Done. Hey Jenny, there's something wrong with the coffee. What's that? It tastes funny. Salty, even. I'm tired of these pranks. Fine, fine, I'll take a look. Thank you, Jenny. Salty coffee. Ha, ha, ha. So funny.
Okay, what's this? I think this is what Jenny connects the phone calls with. I'll insert the cord into the blue plug. Done. Okay, what now? Speaking. Mr. Taylor is waiting on the line. Can I connect the call? What? Again? Uh, please do. Bruton? Hello, Bruton. This is Taylor speaking. Oh, wait, no, this is the guy in the forest. How do you do, Mr. Taylor? Listen, I understand the city is going to build a highway. I've come to accept that. What? You have? Yeah, but I think it would be only fair if my cabin was moved somewhere else. I mean, you only need my site, not my actual home. I can make that arrange. Stop it! It's too late and too expensive for any of that. I can pay someone for the expense. Not going to happen. I will send our new kid over there tomorrow. He'll make sure you sign the papers. But goodbye now, Mr. Taylor. What an asshole. Huh. I never realized he was so crude. What <laughs> the fuck was that? There's something... Hey, it's my coffee mug. Don't mind if I do. Maybe one more glass or oh, mug. Water is healthy. A little more. Must drink more. I'm gonna boost. Uh, whoops. I think I drank it all. Hey Jenny, I'm sorry to bother you again. What is it this time? There's no water in the water machine. And I'm thirsty. What? How? I just changed the bottle today. I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, the cord is currently plugged into the blue plug. I'll insert it into the red plug. Done. Yeah? Mr. Jones is waiting on the line. All right, connect him. This is McDade speaking. Hey man, this is J-Bomb. I uh, haven't found a new apartment yet. Could you postpone the extra preparation? Just a few weeks so I can find somewhere to stay. Anything else? Do you want me to look for you? Want me to hold your hand and walk you across the fucking street? Stop calling here. I'll send someone there tomorrow to take care of things. But dude, I real... Farewell. Huh. Funny guy. I wasn't really fond of the guy either. But that was just unnecessarily cruel. Let's see. Hmm, that's a rag. Hopefully this won't clog the toilet. Whoops. Jenny, 
The toilet is clogged. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know we hired janitor a little while back. Um, I'll just call him. No, no, don't do it. I was going to talk to him anyway. So I might just as well tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Oh, whoa. What is that thing? Hmm? I turned the phone off. So, I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. I think his phone is shut off. What a bummer. We really need to get the toilet working again. Uh, okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny. You're awesome. I know. From red to green plug. All set. Look how they slapped my room in the middle of them all. What's up, Jenny? Mrs. Goodwin is waiting on the line. Should I connect her? Please do. Moore? Hi, Mr. Moore. Mrs. Goodwin. How do you do, Mrs. Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much, and all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder. Or eat healthier. Your debt is only your own doing. That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know my husband passed away. And all the bureaucracy and confusing laws? Well, I just don't think it is fair that I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. There are laws that you must honor them. I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you a little more time. I've been arranging my things and- No! The law does not compromise. There's nothing I can do. Surely there- Goodbye! What an old hag. Interesting. Go and show them, dear. The moment of truth, son. through the door. It was as black as night and as quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step. And the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing. Balloons floated to the ceiling. They were all there. My bosses, Jenny, and my colleagues. It took a moment for me to figure out what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me, for my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself to shout my resignation out loud. But then something happened. A purple silky cloth revealed its secret. A new sign with my name on it. Greed reared its ugly head and my backbone snapped like a dry stick. But did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppressed my feelings, my guilt. I kept working for a few years. You sure don't, you don't want a swig? No thanks, sir. I'm on duty. 
I hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. It's all okay, I said to myself. I just kept blowing into the balloon, you know? It only stretches so far. My... my mind broke. I started slipping. Heck, it may have even been deliberate. Not long after that, I was fired. And the standard of living I was used to. I ran into debt big time. I lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for taking over your property now. Listen, kid. The reason I told you my story? Please, say no more, sir. You really remind me of when I was younger. I'll admit, your story really puzzles me. I will give you my career a second... Whoa. I will give my career a second thought, for sure. This probably was the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please, think it through so you won't end up like I did. I will, but... Ah, oh, gosh, I hate doing this. You will have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. I really hope he listened to my story. I think this is it. I spent my last coin to buy this shotgun. Oh, fuck. Just realized what the sign meant at the beginning when it goes around, comes around. I guess it's time to use it. Oh, my bedroom was down here, wasn't it? Depressing to write a suicide note. What do I have to say? What comes around goes around. Fuck. That'll have to do. I feel bad for him. I hope he will be fine. Come on, elevator. I just want to get away from here. Well, that was an interesting game, wasn't it? Pretty fucking dark. Let's give it time, and that new kid's gonna blow a hole in his head. Oh, how the credits stop when I stop moving. Thank you for playing Distraint Deluxe Edition. It took quite a few cups of coffee to make this game. I had lots of fun though. As of writing this in 2017, the sequel is in the works. That's right, Distraint 2 is coming. I'd like to thank my wife Jenny for her support and my kids Re Rico and Minja. Also, thanks to my brother Juso for doing QA. I also got to work with some amazing people that volunteered to translate the game. Thanks to them, this game is now available in quite a few languages. Speaking of, the subtitles you used, localization by Carl Quigley, additional proofreading by Jack Longman, he's still messed up somewhere. That would be all, thank you. Hey, my husband. The end. Cool, so that's the end of that one. 
And I'm gonna play a second game, so. What was my score when I started? Because that's wrong. That's very wrong, either which way. Also, the creepy heads in the background. Another thousand Jews. Yeah, thanks, man. Gonna move on to another one now. Right, so that one was done. Now we're gonna play Whipsy. I'm just gonna end this recording so I can start a new one. That was a strange game, but I liked it. I'll be right back. Bye.